friends and colleagues, I'm excited to announce the publication of my book, Rhythm, Rhythm, Revolution, Dance Puzzles for Rhythmic Literacy. And as a brief introduction to the book, I'll start with a question. How do you think your students would benefit from the ability to read not just one rhythmic line, but two rhythmic lines simultaneously? How would it affect their logical understanding of rhythm? How would it enhance their ensemble skills and their conducting skills? As we piece together the dance puzzles, of course we start by practicing some very basic foundational skills. We start by stepping with the beat. Then we add the voice. One, two, three. Then we tap top line rhythms with the right hand on the right leg and bottom line rhythms with the left hand on the left leg. One and two and three and. For rests, we cross the midline and tap the opposite shoulder. One and two and three and. As you can see, the dance puzzles start out simple and very gradually gain complexity. I've made accompaniment tracks for some of the levels, and students can also dance along with a metronome or with a pop song, or better yet, music from their listening assignments. I prefer to have students work through the preparatory levels at home, on their own or with the help of a parent if needed. And then in lessons, I hear Rhythm Rhythm Revolution when they're ready to pass a challenge level. Students see this as a game. At summer music camps, they love seeing how many levels they can pass in one week. One, four, two, three, and four, five, one, two, The partner dances are also a fun option for music camps. Nice, can you go faster? Brandon, get your feet going. Thank <laughs> you.